All right, we're down the beach again. It's quite flat. There's a bit of a breeze out there. It's irritating because when you leave home, it's like flat calm, but of course we've got a west wind, so it's chopping it up now. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas of what we're going to do. First, we're going to go and do a couple of pots. Then, I'll either go down that way, or I'll go that way. That's my plan, you see. But now, I'm going to grab some crab, because we may go and look at doing ras. I haven't decided yet. All depends, because you need it, you need it to be quite calm for ras. If you, if you try and fish ras when it's, the boat's bouncing around, you need to stay on the bottom, you see. And your rod just keeps pulling the weight around, so... Uh, we'll decide when we get out there, but I'll take some crab anyway. We've got to do it quickly because I don't want to let the boat dry out there, otherwise I'll have to drag all the way down to the water again. Which is no fun, so hopefully there'll be a few good crabs around here. We don't need many. Anybody home yet? There he is. That's one. One little crab, green crab. But you can't guess why they call it green crab. <laughs> Another one there. Two. Another one there. So there is a few. There's a few more around it this year here. The last few years it's been really difficult finding green crab. In the numbers, years ago, you'd lift these rocks and there'd be thousands of them scuttling around. Well, I don't have loads, but we've got about a dozen in there, so that'll do. The worms as well. Right, let's get going. You know what it is, I need one lobster for this weekend and well, we're catching something.
fiddler. That actually, it might be right. Yeah, it is right. We'll have a look in a minute. I thought it was a soft shell, but it's not. giant one but you know that's the sort of size I'd say sort of that size up this is the taking size really and that's let's get the gauge let's get the gauge you see there that's a gap about a good inch over size that's the sort of size you want and upwards if you're going to take them of course fish. That's got to be one of the biggest mackerel this year. That's a monster. Absolute monster of a mackerel. Why? Well, I'm keeping that one. I'll end up losing it. I'm trying to show you. Oh, kind of can show you, but you can see it's a big one.
here we are. So I've just set up a couple of swivels on the line, like a paternoster kind of thing. And for some reason, I don't seem to have any of my tackle with me. I had loads of tackle. I thought it was in a big container and I just can't find it. So I'm making do with what I've got, which is some 4 0 hooks. Now, for some rats, they might be a bit big, but let's face it, we're after bigger rats, we're not after little rats. So that'll be fine. You don't really want to cast too far because you don't want the angle because the rats will go straight into the rocks. Or can do. Especially around here, there's a lot of boulders around here. I'll tell you what, there's a lot of bobbers. There might be a crab pot washed up over there. Tide is low at the moment, so it's probably going to be a bit slacker with the feeding of the rats. They do feed, but I've always found an upcoming tide always best for them. You can catch them any time, but like I say, you just seem to catch a lot more as the tide's moving in. They're moving in looking for the food, I suppose. One small rat. Lovely little fish there, lovely patterns on them. There you go, there's one more with the worm. Again, small fish. Right, we're going to switch up to crab now. There you go, little tiny wrasse. There you have it, one small wrasse. but it's a better better fish than what we had before oh, now I didn't think we we're gonna catch one I said after seeing that seal but there is still one or two around there that aren't hiding there you go lovely little rats that one there's even reddy brown ones to that because I like mackerel in batter. They are amazing.
the pot. Absolutely nothing in it. All the last pot saves the day. And it's a beauty. Whew. That was cutting it close today. Look at that. Look at the size of that. Last pot, eh? The very last pot. Huh. There you go. It's gonna be a two and a half, that might even make two and three quarter. Three pound? Possibly, but what an absolute beauty. There you go. That's how today ended. Kind of a weird day. <laughs>